Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Okay, it seems like we're still residing in Messyville. Well, we took a trip to Shitsville as well. Um, but we're going to end this off in Messyville because we still got it going. We got still got to make it do what it do. We're saying hello to everybody. Hello to everybody. I'm glad you all are here with me and celebrating another video. And if you haven't went over to the other channel, because I definitely have been putting the links in you all's responses back to me about whatever video we're looking at. And talking about I put the link in there so y'all have been doing a fabulous job by going on over there because I got to get back to that other channel and load up some more videos as well but you know I had to take care of my first channel first and uh, the love that I get from you all from enjoying my videos with countless people always telling me that they love 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 and they get to laugh a lot on my videos and that's pretty much what my uh, channel is about and like I say you do get some good nuggets here and there take it for what it's worth and apply it to your life if it flies you know let it apply <laughs> Okay, but we're gonna be talking about Portia Williams and Simon Gabbard. Don't they look like a uh, father and daughter? I'm telling you, but it is, isn't that way. They're looking like uh, Mr. and Mrs. Okay, but that haven't happened quite yet. But uh, we're just gonna be taking a look at how Portia idolizes herself. As you can see, she got 15.4k hearts and likes and 2283. Uh, questions that she uh, was getting in her feed or uh, comment section yes she is obsessed with the new look she got going on and like I said when you idolize things tangible things intangible things it, it's a hot mess and she knows better uh, because she came from the Christian faith she and until she got really solidified on the Real Housewives of Atlanta she just threw that cape on out the door okay but uh, we can still keep hope alive for her to uh, change her ways and just be a good mommy and a good provider for her family but it just is what it is she loves the limelight and she's not going to give it up for nobody and she loves her body because she definitely don't really exercise that much all right but we know we do know she does a lot of nip and tuck all right so we're just going on because they put it on social media so we might well talk about it they're having date night and Portia's just showing and giving us full body her face and body she claims those are her greatest assets and she's going to use them uh to get whatever she wants to get most people would think that's prostitution uh call girl or a escort but it just is what it is and Portia world she calls that uh being engaged <laughs> to father time over there and i'm there in their rolls royce and i keep wondering what is those sparkle things up in the rooftop of their uh car because needing had that same look when she was in africa and they were uh in a limousine or some type of transportation it had the glitter going on is that something they just put in luxury cars because i don't know all right i drive a chevy truck so uh it just is what it is and i had a toyota camry and we can go down the line but i've, I've never seen that in i guess economy cars because i've never had the uh opportunity to get a luxury car mainly because i don't want a luxury car it just doesn't add up with the features that you get in some of these luxury cars especially the mercedes and the the amount you have to spend on just maintenance no i could afford the car no i just couldn't afford the maintenance i wasn't even trying to afford that serious maintenance but anyway this is what it is i kind of got off tangent and you know i do that from time to time 
But yes, we're just going to be talking about Portia, how she just takes over people's, uh, what do you call it, venues and do them the way she wants them done. Even though they didn't ask her to do so, she just feels like she has to be the center of attention and whatever somebody else is giving somebody else attention and it's due their uh it's you know it's it's like it's their celebration and they do to be you know uh appreciated for their accolades that they're doing but uh simon and um portia after they finished eating or whatnot they went to a listening party of the brat if y'all don't know who she is she's a, a female rapper uh, that was signed to So So Death, Jermaine Dupree's uh, record label. And, you know, uh, she did a video, the one that I like is uh, How You Like It or something like that with Tyrese. What you like? Fuller, a fuller. You know, I don't know how to sing the song because, you know, I didn't practice. I'm just going off my head. <laughs> okay. But she was on the beach and it was Tyrese and they were, you know, doing real. It was a very nice video and she was giving her take on it. And at the time, I think she was still liking men and women. She hadn't fully uh, changed over to just you know liking women she was doing both at the time and Tyrese was in there helping her uh, sing I think it's called what you like but uh those who know that era back then y'all know y'all know what I'm talking about but yeah she was at her listening party and I don't know how she got on the stage all right so that's just Portia doing too much because she could have waved at her table or wherever they were sitting or whatnot and gave her her roses her accolades from there but Portia had to get up on stage and I don't know what happened after after that because like I said she don't only do it that went up there from what I could see but that's just Portia you know what I'm saying she has to stay relevant she has to stay out in the crowd of people so she could be like seen we just wish she wouldn't be heard <laughs> okay she wouldn't speak but you know they give Portia that leeway and um you know it could have been some good conversation on her show debacklement but of course <coughs> Excuse me, Rick and Smiley Morning Show. The staff did not talk about it, even though I know Gary with the tea probably wanted to go on and tee it off, you know, talk about it. But uh, I guess uh, since it was a complete failure, and Portia's trying to erase it from our minds, which we can't, because it's just like trauma to us. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like we need to go see a counselor to get our minds straight because that ooh, that debacklement of a sitcom show she was trying to give us. <gasps> child that was just too much kind of made you feel like damn that's that kind of look like my family and when we get together for reunions and we know how we feel when we had to go around family mom, members we don't care for because we, we really be wanting to check a you know check a itch if they just say one word that one word it's gonna pop off you know i know we have those family members like that in our family and i kind of be on edge myself <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I kind of like speak and say hey to everybody that I really love. And then the ones that I don't, I just wave. I don't say anything. And I keep it moving. Okay? Because then you have to bring out the AK-40. You have to bring out the uh, the tanks, the cannons. You got to bring out the uh, snipers. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I'm just in my mind. That's what I feel like, you know, putting everybody on standby. And when I say go out, throw up the fingers, that means go and get them. Okay? But anyway... Uh, uh, I got off a tangent again. I'm sorry about that. But that's the listening party. Uh, I had a, I had a little snippet of it, but I didn't really too much care for it. But other people probably could. And I wanted that the brat when she was little. Uh, what Portia's holding up, which I don't know why, because I know that's not Portia. That don't seem like Porsche, no. But uh, I think it was the brat when she was little. But, uh, you know, she's married to a Big Booty Judy. She promotes the Kaleidoscope uh, young, uh, young Girls Hairline products. And I think Candy is actually on her, uh, what do you call it, the Old Lady Gang, Gang Gang uh, sitcom. She advertised it throughout the uh commercials so i don't know if she's hooked up with kaleidoscope products uh kids products or she's just doing big judy uh the brat's wife a favor who knows okay because candace sometimes give her advice and she gives things free to people because that's just her heart and how she was raised so congratulations for having that attribute candy burris but yes uh 
Simon and uh, Portia was at this listening party event with all these other people. I don't know if they're music execs or music artists or whatever. But uh, I don't know who that lady is. Do anybody know who that lady is? Okay. But Portia was trying to be all in the pictures, all in the know. I was waiting for her to go up there by the guitarist and the brat and try to rap for him. You know what I'm saying? Because she called herself, that's head crack, one of her old uh, co-workers at Dish Nation. Um, yeah, and we're straight out of Messerfield as well. Uh, serving up the ATL because Portia thinks she is the shit still. When we want her to come back and ask why in the hell she put that mess out of Portia Family Matters. Okay, because this shit didn't matter at all. She was trying to even get her baby daddy locked up in Mexico. It was just a hot mess. And I promise you, if you go on her social media platforms, you're going to see her being an author, you know, and an actress. But you ain't going to hear nothing or see nothing of family, Portia's Family Matters. Now, how she was getting it started before we even saw uh, episode. So one, she was promoting the shit out of that uh, television show or sitcom that Bravo had gave her uh, and was hoping she would get another season. But didn't nobody particularly like what Portia had served out on that particular show she was trying to give us. It was a hot mess, okay? It was just like, oh, put a fork in it. It's done and do not cook that meat again ever in your lifetime. All right, do us that favor. So it kind of had that little tonation to it. And it's almost like it didn't even happen because Portia has it nowhere. She doesn't talk about it. There's no commercials about it. I mean, it was just like ripped up real quick, fast in a hurry and burned. Okay. So now she's trying to uh, talk about what well, on her platform. She has her book still out there. But we know that's a bunch of trash because I've covered at least seven chapters on my uh, platform and it was just full of lies full of foolishness fakery fraudulent fuckery activity throughout that whole book and i suggest not to get it unless you just want to torture yourself and try to figure out how you're going to get past page one because there's so much bullshit that was in that uh book and it, it just didn't seem like it was believable or in her mind it may have been but to the uh public at large no <laughs> full of shit okay so that's where we were with her book so uh yeah she calls herself idolizing herself she loves her looks she knows she look good she ain't one of them people where just they're just naturally pretty or they wear makeup just like portion to full-blown glam type of makeup but they let people tell them how pretty they are because they have a sweet spirit they're very humble and they're just really positively interacting with everybody and anybody you know what i'm saying those type of people that you know they don't think that they're the shit you know what i'm saying they know they're not ugly they know what society expects of them and they may look that aesthetic but they don't cater into it. Like, you know, I know I'm beautiful. Or, uh, you know, look at me. You know, look at, you know what I'm saying? They weren't that type. And that was kind of like, because Tanya's cute to me. The, um, what do you call it? The friend of the show. She was cute. And she was just naturally cute. You know what I'm saying? Where you would admire how she looks. But she wasn't putting it out there that she know she is the shit. She knows she look good. That type of funky attitude. You know, let people, uh appreciate your beauty don't let you don't let you make your beauty stand out it's the only thing that you care about and that's the kind of attitude Portia has and um and we'll continue to have pretty much if she don't straighten up and fly right but yeah she loves her snatched body her pumped up breasts and because we know she, I didn't know at first I really thought that <clears throat> she really was exercising because she gave us the optics that she was. You know, she was going to the gym. She was exercising. Had a, a trainer and all this, that, and the third. But that's not the case. And even with the case with Candy, she came out being a, a very, very transparent. Uh, she pretty much don't eat a lot. When she wants to um, uh, lose the weight, the appropriate weight that she has definitely lost and you know, she's done some things surgically to look, um, you know, how she feels she wants to look. 
you know cleaning up some flaws that she see but the weirdest thing about it is like I haven't met any celebrity that sit out there and say they just eat right and they exercise and that's what keep them in shape it's always the opposite they do what they know they are supposed to do but yet they feed into all this uh, metabolism increaser or food uh, we call it I think it's fenugreen not fenugreen I can't re remember the uh, medication name where it's a metabolizer speeder upper and it, it suppresses your appetite. Uh, people like Candy and other celebrities, they still do that or they think they can drink um, using these shakes and, and th for to supplement for a meal, a real meal where you're actually supposed to be chewing your food up and digesting it the proper way. But, uh, people just buy into that they want the quick release they want the quick uh weight loss reduction and stuff of that nature and you know they have all these followers and uh fans to where you know they tell them what's really going on and we have like people that are younger and they're already kind of like feeling they're not worried the other body's not like how society wants uh everybody to look or whatever and they're going to all these different diets and binges and stuff like that and they get into health problems so i'm like if you're not gonna really sit there and tell them what to do then your transparency or what you do is full of shit and that's how i saw candy i'm like you know you have the best type of uh, rapport with people and you know you tell them good reasoning and good logic on how to approach weight loss but when you throw in that other piece by saying you know you had a little work done here and there and you take medication that speeds up your metabolism as well as suppresses your appetite that's not good you know even though like i said she's being very transparent but that's not a way that you're going to keep that weight off once you stop drinking them shakes uh to uh, put down as a meal for that day because most people will do a shake in the morning a uh, shake for dinner or a shake at lunch and then they'll have a, a, a full-blown dinner that's very healthy but I think uh, it's not right you know what I'm saying it's like do what you got to do but don't be a spokesperson for it because you're not doing what the exercise people gurus say do as well as the nutritionists just leave it alone and say well you know i had a little help and i don't advise nobody to do this but if you got the money and the time and the health to do it then do it it's a quick fix but that's what our world wants we want microwave type results and it's just not there it's not realistic and it's not something that you can attain uh up to a long no attain longevity is what i'm saying so, but uh, I know I got off in a tangent again, but I was kind of letting my videos speak for themselves how Portia can be in a situation and it's somebody else's time to shine and uh, be rewarded and commended for all their hard work. And uh, she was at a listening party for the brat, but she's all up in the, the camera and stuff. Like, this is not your moment. I, you should have been sitting at your table and you should have been recording the brat getting her flowers and and entertaining people just like those people they're not like trying to get over there and be behind the brat and get a snail selfie or something like that i mean you know her personally you ain't got to be up all in her shade like that that was just piss poor but i guess you're trying to get the spotlight anyway anyhow no matter what and I'm like, we know who you are. We know who your boyfriend is. And both of y'all are piss poor individuals at certain things at certain times. And we have to call y'all out on that. Because y'all forever in social media. I mean, Portia is kind of not that bad. She's been trained in social media. She knows what to put out there and what not to put out there. But her uh, glorified boyfriend, fiance, y'all may call him. He posting in and every shit out there. And it makes her look stupid sometimes. And she said that on her little show. But like I said, you can't go back for reference because it's not there. <laughs> and they ain't trying to let that whole mess see the light of day ever again. But Simon doesn't use his uh, 
his social media platform is anything good. You know, he should use it more so as flossing, showcasing, letting people know, well, I got this. And you can aspire to do the same unless you're lazy. And I'm just summarizing it up and how I took it, how I perceived some of his posts, which is total bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you can't even get verified on social media accounts, but you got all these followers, uh, you know, like Dennis McKinley, but he's certified. You know, his his account is legitly based on him and who he is and how many people like to see his comings and goings with you and uh nini's uh, glorified married uh boyfriend naomi he ain't even verified and that tells you a lot and we give them both a rating of negative zero they're not even on the board because of the foolishness the fakery the fraudulent and fuckery activity that they are doing or i should say Portia and Nene are allowing these men to do to them. Because this ain't their first rodeo. They both been married before. They know what a bad marriage look like. They know what a good marriage look like. And for these two to be hooked up with some wannabes is totally beyond my comprehension. But that's all I had of this video, guys. Hopefully, y'all like to love it. Gotta have more. And you know I'll be back for more. <laughs> but I think I gave y'all three good videos to tied y'all over while I work on my other channel and try to build that. But this is Delphine signing off, okay? This is Deb. This is Deb for this world. Deb Chanel for this world saying, I'm signing off from Atlanta, Georgia, people. Signing off from the ATL, okay, where the players don't play. <laughs> or the players will play, I should say. And those people who have migrated here or left their own states and came down here seeking a better future. Hey, how y'all doing? And can y'all take public transportation? Because the sister tired of this traffic. Traffic, traffic, traffic up in here. It really does look like California. But it is what it is. They told people to come down here and live because of all the wonderful attributes we have here. But we don't have no more than what y'all had up north, okay? We just living it on a, a, a country type level. But I will see y'all next video, guys. Y'all be blessed. Bye-bye.